No, I always stand like that. Yeah. That's the way I always stand. <laughs> Welcome back to River City Live. And we have some of the legends of the Jaguars here because guess what? It's been 25 years and it's time for a big old party. Don Davey, defensive tackle back in the day of the Jags. He's let himself go, admittedly. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Brunel and, of course, Brian Barker, punter. And uh, we got a party to put on, guys. Oh, so yes, we do. Uh, tomorrow night and... Uh, when there's something to celebrate, what do you do? You throw a big party. This is going to be a big party. We put a lot of time into this. Uh, PRI Productions, Randy Goodwin is throwing this thing, and he knows how to throw a party. Yes. There's a few things that are going to happen at this party that I'm, I don't even know. Um, it's going <laughs> to get crazy. That sounded really bad, but, but, but uh, it's not. Uh, it's not too late to buy some tickets. Uh, show up if you have to. Put a jacket on. Put a dress on. And come have a good time. But uh, 80 former Jaguars are going to be in attendance. Wow. Um, we wanted to celebrate 25 years and we wanted to do it with our fans um this is going to be a uh, it's not like a sit down table you know silent live auction kind of thing um come mingle with your favorite jaguars tony's going to be there fred jimmy keenan all the guys it's going to be a great event and one of the things i love about this too you know you talk about the fans the engagement that they could have with you guys and just seeing you guys talk like when the camera was not on and just like, you know, the bonds that you have, it's so cool to see as a fan and people can experience that when they come out to the gala. Well, that's why it's going to be a fun event for us too, right? This is 80 of us getting together, guys that have played back from 95 all the way through uh, the last few years that are coming to town for this. It's going to be fun for us to get re together, reconnect, and then it's our way of saying thank you to the city of Jacksonville for embracing us so much as not only as players, but as now citizens of the community. And that's true. You guys have chosen. You could live anywhere, and you've chosen to settle and thrive here in Jacksonville with your families. Brian, when you're out and about and people recognize you and ask you uh, about, like, your favorite moments with the Jags, it's fun to hear you tell them, but when you're with your friends and you can really share them, do you have any, like, good dirt that you're going to be sharing? <laughs> well, as a punter, I was an observer in the locker room. I heard a lot of stuff, played a lot of pranks. That uh, sounded bad, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is that you do enjoy talking to Jaguar fans on a regular basis. Absolutely. It was really special to be part of the first team in Jacksonville. Um, the city embraced all of us, which is why I think a lot of us chose this as a home after our careers ended. Uh, we've got a huge group of former players that live here the ambassadors of our Legends community here in Jacksonville. About 30 plus that come to the games and, and sign autographs and visit suites. So it's, this is just an expansion of that. We're bringing all the Legends back and we're gonna have a, just a great celebration on Saturday night. And then let's talk about yeah. too, the buzz that's happening right now with the Jags. Mark, we were talking about this last week. Mm -hmm. It's just, I feel like there's a, a nice movement happening. Everybody's getting behind and even though it doesn't you know, quite see a, a winning record yet. There's still so much happening, there's so much potential, and there's a lot of teams kind of in the middle with these records, so. Yeah, this season could go in any direction, yeah. and, uh, and I think people are excited about uh, the emergence of DJ Chark and the surprise of Gardner Minshew. People are just like, hey, where did these guys come from? They're playing really good football right now. And surprisingly, our offense is going up and down the field and our defense is struggling, so that's <laughs> kind of a surprise. So I think people are, uh, as always, our fan base has been great. They're always going to support the Jaguars. Um, but this season, after five games, has just kind of uh, been it's unexpected. Like a new identity. It really is. Yeah. You know, in the old days, it was the offense and a little bit of the defense. And we're kind of back to that. Yeah. Well, we had so much excitement early on. You know, we came here in 95 as an expansion team. We had one draft class, a bunch of street free agents, and a handful of veteran free agents that Tom Coughlin threw together. And in our very second year, we were in the AFC Championship game, and we had a lot of success early on. And do you remember the excitement around this team uh, back then and around the city? It's been great to see, feel that again. It yeah, feels that way again this year. That the, you know, there's some excitement with the team. Team's playing well. We're right in the thick of things in the division. And uh, we've got this big party Friday, or Saturday night leading into a, a big game against the Saints on Sunday. Well, let me run down a couple of reasons why this is a great party to attend. If you're a fan of the new regime, if you've been watching, you're a newer fan, these guys are so much fun to talk about what's going on on the field right now. If you're like the old school Jaguar fan, then you can talk about the good old days. And if you're looking for a reason to get dressed up and go out, and we know the truth is there aren't that many of those in Jacksonville on a regular basis. This is one of those see and be seen nights and get some nice photos with the with significant other. And then let's talk about the Top, uh, Tom Coughlin Foundation because that's at the crux of all of this. It only made sense if we were going to pick a charity to benefit that it would be Tom Coughlin's charity, the J Fund. Uh, they're doing a wonderful job mm -hmm. all across the country, not just in our community, just helping kids with cancer and families who have kids with cancer. Uh, they're, they're amazing. 
he is the one that brought us all together. So it only makes sense to benefit his, his uh, uh, foundation. And so uh, Coach Coffin will be there. Shad Khan will be there. And again, if you don't have a ticket, show up. Uh, um, you can get tickets at the door. Get tickets at the door. Come on, I'll be I'll be selling online. tickets at the, <laughs> exactly. at the ticket booth. I'll be, be right there. Five jobs that night. <laughs> I'll be right there. All you can go to jacksevents.com and you can buy tickets online up to 6 p.m. on Saturday. You can buy them at the door. And let's say for whatever reason you can't get out, it'll be televised right here on Channel 4. Guys, thank you so much for coming out Thanks, here, Mark. sharing your experiences, and being a part of the gala and being part of the Legends program. We appreciate thank you. it. Have fun at the party, but not so yes. much fun that you don't show up Monday to your show. Okay. <laughs> I'm taking Monday off. I'm gonna call. Oh, I'm going to call in sick. I'm calling in sick Monday. We'll be right back. It's going to be a big night. With more River City Live, don't go